Hello, Market Club members everywhere. Adam Hewison here. I'm coming to you from the digital studios of Market Club. And we're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to look at three stocks that are having their earnings coming out after the close. But I thought it'd be interesting to look at a stock that came out with their earnings before the opening. And that was Best Buy. Uh, we have a chart on the screen of Best Buy. BBY is, this, is the symbol. And you can see it's down quite dramatically, down about, about 5% so far. It was down earlier than that, but it's down about 5% right now. And the reason why you would not have gone home long this stock on an earnings play was simply because you have the weekly trade triangle in red right here. And you have the monthly right here in green. So you have this green indicating the longer term trend is up and you have this red one, the intermediate term trend is down. That's a conflict. They're, they're going in different directions, which means you should be on the sidelines and that's where you should be in this particular stock on the sideline. So you would have missed this big drop down. If you had thinking, well, it'd be a nice buy right around here. No, you would have missed that because of the conflict between these two trade triangles. Now remember that because we're going to look at some other stocks now. We're going to start with a stock that's going to announce its earnings after the close today. And that's Autodesk. A-D-S-K is the symbol. And you can see it's sort of like had a nice move up earlier and it's actually been doing pretty well. So we had a nice move here, here, and now we're doing this right now. So with the trade triangles, green and green on both the monthly and the weekly you should be long going into the earnings so the earnings we're looking for a little better than expected and we're expecting a beat on earnings and for the stock to go higher after hours in after hours trading so let's see how that plays out again they announce after the close today and they're looking for an estimate of eight cents per share earnings so that's earnings let's see if they come in above that well next stock we're looking at is very similar to Best Buy and that's this is TMF Fresh Market and you can see the monthlies down and the weeklies up it's a conflict meaning you should not be in this market at the moment because you've got a divergence between these two very very important indicators now fresh fields expected to earn this is the estimate this is from some of the best fields and the best analysts in the business it's going to earn 0.2 too. That's the consensus per share. Now what we're saying on fresh markets, we think it's going to be a mixed report, no big change, uh, either way in after hours trading. So let's see how that plays out. Generally speaking, you're right on the 50 line. It's just nothing going on here. So it could go either way on the downside or the upside or just sort of stay where it is. I think it's probably going to so somewhere in between these two areas right here. No big change in this stock fresh market. The next stock that they're going to looking at is going to announce after the close today its earnings and they're looking for earnings of 63 cents. So that's not too bad. So that's the consensus is it's going to be 63 cents. Now notice the monthly and the weekly are down indicating a downtrend if this is correct then this stock gap should actually disappoint it's indicating already that the stock isn't doing well it should disappoint so you should either be short this market or just out of it that's the consensus based on our triangles indicating it should be going down just like Autodesk is going up because we have two green trade triangles on the upside we have just the reverse here two red trade trade triangles on the downside should be disappointing earnings flat to disappointing earnings in this stock so let's see how this works out so it should be flat or disappointing pretty much a mixed picture in the Dow monthly up weekly down that's a trading range 75 we had a we rally back here and if we start coming back down again I'd be a little bit concerned same picture in the S&P 500 it's a trading range no, I can't get excited about the upside or downside at this point in time. The NASDAQ, a little bit different there. We have two red trade triangles indicating the trend is down. We could see further weakness coming into this market. So let's see how that plays out. Spot gold beginning to flatten out a little bit. There's no follow through here, which is in interesting. And today we're sort of a little bit uh, down a little bit. But I would watch this a little bit of a divergence on the RSI. You can see that. And what I mean by that is we made new lows here. It wasn't as low as this one right here. So slight, slight divergence, not very big, not very noticeable. And a divergence is when you would make a new high like you did here. And you didn't make a new high on the RSI. So that was the high right there. And then it made a further new high, but it didn't follow that with the momentum. So again, that was a negative pushing prices down. This could be the reverse where you see some sort of rally on the upside. 
This is the euro. Now the euro, you remember we were looking at the we're right around the support area in our opinion, and I think we'll see a bounce up from current levels. All of our trade triangles are red, indicating a negative trend, however. Wait for them to turn. First indication will be the daily, which will turn green. And when that happens, you can safely say that maybe we put in some sort of a low for the markets. Hey, I'm Adam Hewison. Let's watch those earnings today for Autodesk, Fresh Markets, and Gap. Let's see how those trade triangles work. Hey, thanks for watching. Every success. I'll be back tomorrow with an update for the week.